Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I am back with the amazing Abigail or Abby. Can we just say Abby? You can. Not okay. everybody can. Oh, I just started doing it on my own. And you know what? I started doing it because I heard your husband say it once or he referred to you as Abby once. And I'm like, I like that. I like met that. me before I was married <laughs> to him. Oh. <laughs> So everyone who knows me pre-marriage calls me Abby, and everyone who knows me after I've been married calls me Abigail. Oh, so I can still be an Abby, though? I can still be an I feel like I let select few people into Oh, man, you guys. So you guys don't do it, but this is Abby. (laughs) Um, Abby has an aria behind her. I don't know if you guys are distracted by that yet or not. That is, when I see an aria, I'm always like, And it was free free aria oh because you got the level up that one was no, it no i got it back in the day when they had the uh, elite express you got a, a free aria and like a 30 thing select 30 oils i did it right before they changed the whole program so oh man i don't even know what you're talking about it's because you were so new <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I do like Elite Express a lot though. Elite Express is a surprise. Yeah. It's like, surprise, go ahead and buy whatever you want now with all of these points. Like, all right. right. I, just, I got like Bose headphones. No, no, no. Beats headphones for the gym. And now they're like for free dollars. Free. Mm-hmm. No money. I like free dollars. I like that so much. Yeah. Cause, and then I also look a little bit gangster because I have my Beats headphones at the gym. So I'm that gangster Midwest mom that's walking around <laughs> listening to Eminem or something. <laughs> You're so funny. It gets silly there. Okay. Well, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'm just going to give people a quick rundown on what, um, what uh, Diamond Lane is. It's really, it's a mastermind. Um, Anybody that ever wants to be very, very successful in business, period, needs to be in a mastermind somewhere. You need to be around other people that are moving and shaking because you are the lump sum of the people that you are around, right? You are the average lump sum of the people you are around. Um, and and that, that just, that's in any situation at all. Um, so it's a mastermind group, but essentially it's as though you're on my team because my own team is in there as well. And we do like weekly group coaching calls. We do everything extra that I do for my team. Like there's the the daily checklist, all of that stuff. It all happens in there. And then what's about to be free for people that pay for Diamond Lane in there is uh, the Dreamers Academy, which I've talked about it a little bit, but um, essentially, Everybody is walking, talking, living, breathing brands. We all are, um, whether you take it full advantage of it or not. Um, if you take full advantage of it, you can make a complete living off of yourself and what you are already passionate about and what you already know and love. That's something that you can do. We talk about that sort of stuff in Go For Gold. Um, and then I take it to the nth degree um, in Dreamers Academy. That's what's going to happen. It's like, okay, now let's work on the whole kit and caboodle right like all of it so like grow the oprah brand right um and that's so that's going to be attached to uh which by the way oprah's who i saw on saturday so just saying so i saw that when i saw i saw a picture as i was scrolling i saw a picture and i was like what happened so how was that you need to tell me how that was real well quick. first of all there are still dates left so if you have been dying to see oprah since you were a child like me um check out her vision tour but uh, she's tour. everything she's cracked up to be in more so she stood on the stage for hours upon hours and spoke a lot about intention and setting instead of just vision and goals like an actual intention for your life Mm -hmm. and like what that meant and instead of you saying oh you know my why is to do this for my kids or my why is to do this so I can leave this job I hate or my why is whatever it was like what is your intention and to me my intention I found out was a a lot bigger than I had like let myself dream before. Mm -hmm. And so I think if you put a new frame on what it could be, I think it could be pretty powerful for y'all. So definitely look into it if you're interested. I am going there right after this video. 
And I, the only reason I'm not going there right now is because I'm on video with you. <laughs> um, so that's awesome. You guys go check that out. I love me some Oprah all day long. Um, so I, Oprah represents to us what we, why making a lot of money is okay, right? Yes. A lot of people feel like money is bad or people that have a lot of money are bad. I just tell you to turn your neck a little bit and look at Oprah. She's not doing bad stuff. When you have resources, woo, goosebumps. When you have resources and when you're able to give back to your local community and your global community, mm -hmm. you can only do that when you have the financial resources. If you are broke and starving and not able to make your own bills and things like that, we are not in a position to give back, you guys. We have to, it's our responsibility to get ourselves in a position to be able to give back to the people around us, in my opinion. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay, so you have taken Go For Gold, and Abby was the girl that hit that got, what, 10 signups in the first two weeks? Isn't that something mm -hmm. like that, after taking mm -hmm. it? Yeah, that video went like crazy. And then um, you, you could say people were interested in that. <laughs> um, and so you had Go For Gold, what changed, what got better for you whenever mm -hmm. you started Diamond Lane? Sure. So just for some perspective, since I've started like the go for gold, or at this point, I just say like the Martha ecosystem where, <laughs> cause they all work together. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I have, I think I have all the things. I, I think, think you have all the things. <laughs> um, and so I, it's hard to say, you know, it's this one thing that led to whatever result. But since then, I've personally enrolled 38 people. Woo! I have over 50 people in my specialty program through reactivations and getting people on my team interested on top of what we're doing with personal signups. And I think what Diamond Lane has really added for me has been this personal touch that perhaps I felt like was a little bit missing in other places. I mean, at this point, there's so many people and all the things, but I know Martha really pours her time and attention into that group in a way that she just physically cannot for everywhere else. And so I know if I need her eyeballs or more importantly, other eyeballs of people that are like full on, very dedicated, very much like doing the work that I can pop in there and ask questions. And because it's still a mindset game, even when you are doing well, even when you are growing, you have your own limitations and you need other people to shake you out of what limitations those are. Like your limitations might be different than mine, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist. Mm -hmm. And so having someone there to, or a group of people there to shake you out of that fear mindset and get you focused on abundance and what that can look like. And, um, what might be a roadblock for me is someone else's like zone of genius. And so like in that group, I found a lot of people who have really opened up and shared things that are working for them in like immense detail. Um, especially yeah. because we get the opportunity to be on those coaching calls. I know in, in those calls, we've definitely, talked about like very specific outreach to professionals or to um, existing business owners or what does that look like and detail wise like how do you break that down and actually do it and then I think my favorite part though is just the daily checklist as simple as that sounds and at this point I'm fairly familiar with what I need to do on a daily basis sometimes it's a kick in the butt to be like you know what it's on your list. You know, you got to do it. And Martha said, so <laughs> do the things. That's funny. That's that really, you guys, that if you don't have, it's so important. I'm going to finish the sentence one of these days. It's so important to have the people around you that are doing the same thing that you're doing because it's very, very easy in our reptile brains, right? It's very, very easy for us to be around people that do not have goals that are as big as our goals. And whenever you have smaller goals, you just don't get as far. You just don't, right? Like it's, it's, it's impossible to get as far as you could with bigger goals. So whenever you are around a bunch of people that have bigger goals, bigger aspirations that are pushing you and say like, not in a negative way, 
but pushing you with some truth, right? Mm -hmm. That aren't, that aren't like saucy or catty. There's none of that ever happening in there. The culture of it is all love and all, all pushing in truth and love um, and grace, but, um, but still pushing nonetheless and saying mm -hmm. like, here's another way to look at it. Here's another perspective. Because if you're around people that have goals that are smaller than your goals, mm -hmm. you will decrease your own goals mm -hmm. to what matches theirs, okay? Yes. It happens all the time. You mm -hmm. see brilliant people in these small ecosystems or these small groups, and you see that person as brilliant, but they don't see themselves as brilliant. Okay, because they see themselves forest for the trees. They see themselves like the people around them that are, it's just like they're one of these people. But if you were to take that same person, pick them out of that group and put them into a group of people that are like moving and shaking and doing things, they're going to be able to do the stuff that like they're actually capable of doing because they're being pushed to do so. If yeah. we're not pushed, we don't change. And like, that's, that's just, yeah. that's it. I think it boils down to what um, I've been reading, or I've had this book literally sitting on my table for a while, but it's by Hal Elrod. He wrote The Miracle Morning, which I'm sure oh, most yeah. of you are familiar with. This is yeah. his follow-up book called The Miracle Equation. And I think it really lines up with what we're saying here is that it takes unwavering faith plus extraordinary effort to ultimately equal miracles. And a lot of these times, these big, scary, audacious goals are really it, miracle worthy, you guys. Like to be Royal Crown Diamond, like that would feel like a miracle to the, the majority of us. But they're a hundred percent possible if you have enough faith and enough belief and are willing to do all the hard things over and yes. over again, because this is a system that frankly just works like, and it's not, it's not complicated. Uh -uh. You just have to be willing to sit down and have the right conversations with the right people and actually do the things like actually talk about the product, actually walk through the conversation cheat sheet. I, I mean, like, if you're sitting here and being like, it hasn't converted yet, I, I'd sit here and ask you, how many people have you talked to today? How many people did you get through the whole cheat sheet with? And if that's not what's happening, that's where you're stuck. Yep. Yeah. People try to, um, I have seen um, some people try to bypass certain steps because it doesn't, uh, for whatever reason, they don't feel like they need to do that. Um, I'm going to tell a short story about a friend of mine who she's a real estate agent. Um, and so, and she's amazing at sales period. Like she's fabulous at sales. I hope she's watching right now. I love you so much. You know who you are. Um, she's fabulous at sales. Okay. Her and I are very like, whenever we sit across the table from each other, we're just like, bam, 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 bam. It's almost like, I don't even, we had way too much coffee the other day. Anyway. So, um, she's fabulous at sales. She started this business and she she started, I, I, she, she understood the strategy. So she started working the strategy. She didn't, for whatever reason, didn't realize there was a conversation cheat sheet. So she got like 20 leads in a day and started having all of those conversations. And then Sunday morning, I get a text from her and I'm in church and she's, she's like, I think we need to talk because I'm not converting any of these. And I'm like, what? Um, and, and I was like, are you using the conversation cheat sheet? It's the first question I always ask any of my builders. Are you using the conversation cheat sheet? And she's like, what is that? And I was like, I had, to, I had to walk out of church, you guys. I had to go, I had to go out back and I had to like give her, give her the URL to the conversation cheat sheet and be like, girl, this. And then she was able to convert like 12 of them on the same day. So it's like, that's it. Even people that are already good at this stuff, this conversation cheat sheet has been created from thousands of conversations. And it was created from all of the ones that actually led to a sale. It's it like it's it it it's legit. It's legit. You just have to go through it. Um, so yeah, the people that try to skip it and, and have their own verbiage and stuff like that. If you're not seeing success, you got to switch over to the conversation cheat sheet. You got to switch over to it. Just do it. It's not. I you just got to do it. <laughs> just got to do it. I need to tell you real quick that your lighting is amazing. By the way, 
You've got fabulous lighting right it's now. It's called a lamp with a fake daylight bulb in it, you guys. Ooh. It looks really pretty. dumb. Like if you were to take a picture of my room, you'd be like, that, that is a very white light. But on video, it looks quite nice. It looks, you look fabulous. Like you look, yeah. Like, do you remember those places in the mall that used to do, I'm totally dating myself right now. They used to do, it was glamour shots. Oh yeah. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. And, I, and not that you look like glamour cool. shots. <laughs> you know, not that you look like glamour shots. I'm not no, saying that, but you're like, you, you, you like in real life look airbrushed. You're like beautiful right now. Oh, well, just so you know, Zoom also has an airbrush feature. I don't, I don't know if it's on or not, but you can click like smooth or something. And what? Yeah. I need that right now. Know. You're like, I know Martha. I was just <laughs> peeping that. I was just peeping that about you. Um, so, <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, what would you say to somebody? Cause I don't want to like, I, I don't want to, we don't have to like toot the horn too long on this, but what would you say to somebody that's like, I don't know, should I try out Diamond Lane or, or whatever? What would you say to somebody? It's on the fence. Well, I would say, like, what do you have to lose? Like, if, in terms of price, I mean, if you converted two people, I mean, it pays for itself, really. And I figure if I'm actually doing this as a business, I far want to make more than two sales in a month, right? And right. so... Um, to me, it just seems like a very logical next step. If you're starting to see success, like, um, and, and even if you're not like, maybe if you're stuck and like, you need someone to get you unstuck, but truly it's, it's, it's just an extension of what's there. It's, and it's more in depth and it's more, um, it's more detailed. And the, the, if you need like attention, the, the calls are invaluable. Like you can't get that anywhere else. So, um, cause we're jumping on and not only supporting each other, but going through concepts that aren't necessarily covered in any of the other courses. Nothing else. Sometimes you'll see little bits and pieces of the concept. Cause somebody will talk a little bit about it in gold getters or in the go for gold student group. And people are like, what are you talking about? And it's like something we've already pretty much dove in dovin dived something went yeah. deep into yeah. yes, <laughs> i that. don't know <laughs> words they're hard so um uh yeah also for you guys that because not everybody i understand that not everybody has the finances to do that stuff right off the bat like if you're just starting out your business it's very likely that you don't have the extra money to just start doing this stuff and that's why we've made it earnable also so that's why we've made it where um if you uh share go for gold with a friend of yours or with your downline or with i don't know the entire planet then um <laughs> that i mean there are people that have diamond lane for free for like a year and a half already um and all you have to do is share it with people and whenever they sign up then you just text us there's a a number that is on a lot of posts you'll see yeah. it four times a week, probably. Um, there's, there's a number that you just text referral to, and then you answer the questions, and then you get popped into Diamond Lane for a free month. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's, how, that's how I got started. Cause I was yeah. like, I don't know what this is about. So why don't I just like recommend something I know works, yes. try it. And then if I want to stay, either pay for it or just keep recommending people. Right. Well, I mean, imagine how many builders you bring onto your team by letting them know that you have a system that works. Well, when right. you let them know you have a system that works, they end up getting go for gold, and then you have another month of Diamond Lane, and then you show them how to, sh how to get their builders connected in, and then they get three months of Diamond Lane, and now your whole team is being trained in a way that you do not have to duplicate, and that's nice. Right, right. <laughs> That's Absolutely. just freaking nice. Okay, well, shoot. Any last words, Abby? Oh words are hard today for me. I've yeah, done a lot too. of talking professionally, but, um, <laughs> I would say just in general, you are your own biggest hurdle. So if you are feeling stuck at all, um, if you're feeling like, man, like, why aren't people saying yes to me or why aren't they doing whatever? I'm going to guess there's something that you've already decided even unconsciously that like, they aren't listening or what you have to say isn't worth it or 
that you are an imposter or whatever, like, and regardless of what the voice is telling you, that can hugely impact your results, even if you're doing the process. Um, but I, I would say in general, the majority of people who aren't, I've seen seeing success, they're, they're skipping a part of the process or they're not actually doing the processes at all. And they're just complaining about starting and like, not to like be a dead horse, but you guys just, you really just have to do it. You really just have to try. And if you're having a mindset issue, I mean, I would recommend the conscious language stuff or, oh my gosh, how did I not even mention it in Diamond Lane, the AFT sessions? Oh yeah. Oh, those have been huge for me. Um, because have you ever well, done those before? No, not Amazing. until I was in Diamond Lane. Um, and I really, really like them because while I, well, I'm definitely a person who sets goals and a person who like goes after things and does the things I also, while I dream big, I'm, I have, I think most of my problems are unconscious at this point. I think most of my conscious thoughts are pretty well taken care of, but it's the like bias that I created when I was a kid and yes. the negative thoughts that creeped in in middle school because people suck you know <laughs> like it's those kinds of yeah. things that I have to undo and work on personally because I'm not perfect and I still have a long way to go um but I think some of that mindset work has been huge for me and seeing my own potential or not even seeing it but just like finally feeling it or being less scared about stepping into it yeah getting rid of that weight right getting rid of the um it feels heavy to have like, um, the only way I can really say it is, and I, I say like negative expectations, but that feels like more of the word of limitations, but like, it's not your imposed limitations. It's, it's other people's imposed limitations onto you. Um, right. that's what, that's my first AFT session that I ever had with Heather. Um, there was a lot of stuff that came up around other people's imposed limitation. My, my perception of mm -hmm. their imposed limitations on me. That's mm -hmm. a lot of words, kind of work your way through that. But um, it's, it was how I saw them limiting me or them looking at me like I was less than or thinking that I couldn't do something. And mm -hmm. that was, that to me, it was, it was almost like, it, you could take the most dynamic person in the world and if they feel that and they're harboring that and they're carrying it with them, it's like having cinder blocks um, just tied to your feet. And you're like, you're trying like heck to go up this, you know, like to do the Superman, just go up, right? Um, but if you have all of that attached, then it's just so much more slow going. Um, but whenever you're processing through that stuff and you're allowed to release it or you allow it to release, all of a sudden, there's nothing. So you go from having cinder blocks tied to your ankles to nothing. And then it's like, boom, just the, the world is literally your oyster. Not literally your oyster. It literally doesn't work in that sentence. Um, but the world is your oyster, right? Yeah. That's like, you can do whatever you want to do. There is not a cap. There's not a ceiling. There's not anything stopping us. The only thing stopping us is ourselves yes. or what we think somebody else is thinking if we're going to allow that yeah, to stop It's really us. the thinking what someone else is thinking because most of the time our care. assumptions on perception are very wrong. They're not even watching us, right? Like they don't even care. And we're like, oh, they're probably talking we about me. We all are way more self-centered than we give ourselves credit for. <laughs> yes. And I feel like that's a mic drop. <laughs> we're nobody's thinking about us as much as we think they're thinking about us. Not let's just close. move along. Let's move along and let's keep growing. Nobody's actually just talking like that. All right. Well, thank you again. I love yeah. talking to you. And thanks for the hack on Zoom with uh, the airbrush that I'll be using next time. I'm not actually sure what the setting is called, but there's <laughs> like a beauty setting of some kind. Oh my word. I'm going to be gorgeous. Okay. Well, um, I mean, I hope, I, I wonder what it's going to do to me. I don't, now I'm excited. Really know. I don't even know if it's on guys. No idea. Oh my word. Well, I, I think you're gorgeous anyway. So, okay. 
We're going to pop out of here. You guys have a great day. I'll be back here in a little bit. And uh, we're doing Q&A live at 4, my time. So in about a half hour or so. But you guys have an awesome day. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye.